So how does better, anybody, I would love to hear from you all. If it is better or for better or for worse, how do you deal with that when a person is not meeting your needs? Come on up, sis. You, could come, you ain't got to comment on that. You can say whatever you want to say. How you doing? Oh, praise the Lord. There go Big Reggie over there. <laughs> my, my needs are being fulfilled, so don't even worry about it. I was hey, going to say, I'm Hey, Big Reggie, close, Reggie, close your eye for a minute. Is he, is, he do, is he doing a good job? He doing He's a good doing job? He's doing excellent. Okay, all right, all right. I love him, okay? Okay. I, okay, I was married before, and then that one, my needs were not made. Okay, forgive me. I did have my two kids, my, my, my two babies. That was... This is you good. <laughs> Test, test. Okay. You're good. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. You're good. I apologize. Anyway, I was married before for six years, and I think within the first six months, I felt the same way. Like, uh-oh, that's not right. But I was, I was having a baby, so I had to stick by. But anyway, with this man right here, you know, that one back there? Yeah, he behind you. Okay, you said once and needs. What I wanted was someone to love my kids, which Reggie did. And as far as needing somebody to make me laugh, which you know he does, and just give me everything I need. And I love him. We've been together 21 years. Say it again. 21, 21 years. years. Woo -woo. 21 years. Woo right. -woo. <laughs> and it has been great. Yes, we've gone through a lot. But one thing I want to say, I am so happy that we are together. And he was, let me see, when I met, as he said, I was the church girl. And he was out in the streets. And so we moved to Greenville, North Carolina in 2002, and he wanted a job. You know, he's been doing radio forever, and he wanted a job. So I, f I went to Yellow Pages. I know y'all don't know about no Yellow Pages. I went to Yellow Pages, and I found WOW radio station. So Reggie went there. He said, I don't know nothing about gospel music. But he stayed there. And now he's at number one gospel radio station, internet radio station. He's been doing that for 17 years. Yep. So now he's in the church as well. And he says, because of me. No, it's not. It's because of God. Amen. So I'm very proud of him. And I'm going to say it again. I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> I am very proud of him. Uh, uh, and I'm so you. happy. And if y'all don't know who I am, I'm Portia, and that's Portia Reggie. Portia in the house, yes, sir. Big Reggie, you got something real quick? Come on, talk to yeah, me. Yeah, real quick, real quick. Um, when you talk about the needs, like she say, I was in, in the streets. I was in radio since I was young. Um, matter of fact, Biz Marky, I used to DJ for him when I was younger. So when I met her, what I needed was somebody who was more like my mother, I can say, because my mama had my back. My mama was into church. And I was in a club, so I did all the women thing already. So when I met her in November, I asked her to marry me. And three months later, she said yes. So she was what I needed. And, and she's the one who got me into the church. Like she said, she got me into the radio station and the gospel radio station from them. And I just been rolling. So it was her who got me into the church. It was her who got me into the gospel music. I didn't know who no John P. Kino was. I didn't know who no Kirk Frank was. But I knew Jay-Z. I knew all of them Beyonce. But now I can call John B. Key and, and Kirk Franklin in my phone, so thankful for her, man. So that's why we've been together so long, and, and we had some hard times, but I got to keep her by my side because the way the world is now, I don't have time to be searching for nobody no more because I already got what I need. We just got to make it work what we got already. Praise God. That's it, Big Reggie. I love it. I think they said something that was real key. They said something that was very important right there which is that when a God, when we meet each other's needs, that allows us to accomplish his purpose in our lives, right? When we partner with someone that will help us meet our needs, there's a reason that they're called our, you know, our help me. It uh, helps us to accomplish God's purpose in our